chefs welcome back to another segment of cooking masters i haven't uploaded in like like almost two weeks because fucking last week i got sick as a motherfucker so i couldn't eat i i uh yeah i was sick i could i could barely talk either because for some for some reason i don't know i don't know i'm no doctor i don't know how sicknesses work all right but anyways we're feeling better we're back in the kitchen for some fucking reason i should have just called out and today we are going to be uh doing some more haha -ha funnies with uh overload teams i mean you don't I, I don't i don't need to tell you like who we're going to be doing this with you can clearly see it's going to be Toma here i feel like we're going to cook pretty well with this one um, uh, but if we don't, uh, that was not my fault. Enough, uh, yapping. Let's, uh, start cooking. So, Overload DPS Toma. What do we need for this guy? Well, obviously, a bunch of fucking DPS artifacts and weapons. So, Favonius Lance just isn't gonna cut it. I mean, this piece of shit might as well be a fucking wet noodle in combat. This this is probably what we, we might want, but we'll come back to this when we do artifacts. As for artifacts... This shit is not what we're looking for. Honestly, I, I'm just gonna steal all of Delix artifacts. Alrighty, let's uh, see what our stats are looking like now. 52, 174. Um, do we want to have higher crit damage or do we want to crit more consistently? I already know the answer to this. I want to crit more consistently. Yeah, we're pogging. We're pogging, alright. Uh, as for Constellation TC6 and for his talents... As for talents, he's 6'11'11. So overall, man's is looking pretty, pretty, uh, bussin' right now. Go ahead and throw some shit at a wall and hopefully it sticks. And by throwing shit at a wall, I mean teams. Yes. Obviously, we need Bennett. So, you know, his normal attacks can actually do pirate damage. And because this is an overload team, we need Chevreuse. Notice how most overload teams are gonna consist of Bennett, Chevreuse, your pyro or electro main, and then your off field electro or pyro applicator. Uh, like I said, she should have been electro. As for electro, uh, we do have Kuki. I do have her on um four piece tenacity because you know um you don't know, but that's irrelevant. Could do Kujasara, but again, I need the uh application to be more persistent. Uh, there's at least what we could do. Honestly, I don't think it's too much of a difference if we do either of these two. But which one would be more based? Honestly, this one would be based. All right, this might be an absolute dumpster fire of a team. No puns intended. But without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, cook up a salad. Did I ever tell y'all about the time I spent $200 just trying to get one copy of Toma? Ah, good times. No, they weren't. Those were horrible times. All right, all right. So do this. Do this. Do that. And then just... Wow. This sucks. That wasn't really anything super impressive. But just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me on this one. Already big mega ultra chicken because I don't feel like using Siri right now. Do this. Do this. You're an asshole. Okay, fuck you too then. And then we'll just do this a couple of times. <sighs> I mean, it isn't terrible, but it's certainly not great. Okay, I that so hit him. How is she not getting energy from that? Bro, Lisa bug question mark? Where's my where's my free Primo gems at? Now I know I said bear with me guys, but this isn't looking very good. Why the where the fuck was my energy? Like bro, I was holding her shit down. She was hitting enemies and she wasn't getting any energy out of it. Listen, I better get 100 Primo Gems for this one. Giant floating disc. I don't know why I'm choosing to fight this thing. I know I have such a hard time even trying to reach it at times. Okay, there we go. Now I actually got energy. I didn't think that was ever going to happen. Alright, and then... Okay, 34k on that. Not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. Bro's doing, like, pretty decent damage. Granted, he also needs his burst up, but you know what? It's fine. Listen, listen. I don't make the rules here, alright? I just work here. Alright, gotta play, uh... Whatever that one game is where you gotta jump over the shit. It's not jump rope, that's, that's for sure. Alright, and then we'll just set all this up again. Alright, that, that did a little better that time. Granted, we do also need his burst up, but... It makes me wonder, what if I just focused more on his burst? 
damage rather than his normal attack damage. All right, let me cook, guys. All right, guys, I did a little bit of um, off-screen mining, right? And by off-screen mining, I mean... I came up with a little bit of a different approach to this overload Toma build. So I actually went and put a head staff of Toma on him. And for artifacts, I put a four piece emblem on him with a HP main sands right here. So theoretically, also his energy is actually not too bad because I did just steal all of Yalon's artifacts. Um, also, stats aren't half bad either. I mean, 60 crit rate is a little less than ideal, but it's a lot better than a 50, that's for sure, which I'm very bad at winning because. 50 50s i always lose this anyways i feel like this is gonna do a lot better than normal attack overload toma so let's go fight a, a weekly boss already we're here to fight the big vegetable dragon aka apep or warden from the lost oasis wow to apocalyptic millennium oh shit he's underground all right now we gotta play the 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 uh, energy game that's that's not an actual game. I'm just fucking stupid. Um. Oh well, shit. Our energy is already up. Is he gonna go on the ground again? Is he gonna do it? Yes, sir. He is. All right. We're gonna go ahead and pop that. Get that electro off, and then we're just gonna go off. Like we're just gonna absolutely pop. Okay, fine. I only use it one time. God damn. Bro, I hate it when he uses that move. It's so annoying. Let's see what kind of damage you're doing. I mean. Not terrible, but I don't think it's really any better. I think a, I think a big issue with this team is damage output, I guess. I mean, energy really isn't that much of an issue. All right, now for the most boring part of this entire fucking fight, which I'm just going to go ahead and cut to uh, when I beat up all of these little cabbages. You know... I feel like Archaic Petra as a set is like actually pretty good. It's just there's no Geo units that really can use it because you see they already have like sets that are just kind of catered towards them or their playstyle. Like we don't really have like a full on Geo-esque support. Like sure we have Zhongli but his main role is being a tank or shielder. And then you have like Albedo, who's just a sub DPS that's like off field. Ning Wong and Noelle are both mainly just on field DPSs, even though Noelle is supposed to kind of be like a jack of all traits, but she's kind of jacking only one of her traits. That sounds extremely wrong when I say it out loud like that. Like that. I feel like the only character that comes really close to being able to use the set is like Yunjin, but I don't know. I've just never tried it on her yet. I want to, but I just don't have a set. If you guys want more like an in-depth discussion about this topic, definitely do leave that in the comments. I would love to talk about it. That shit did not need to take as long as it did. Alright, he's doing his little, uh, shield thing. And just like that, he caused Hiroshima. Alright, pop this, pop this, go absolutely ham. I see all the way over there. You know, I see why Toma kind of works better as a virgin support. But you know what? It's fine. He's doing he's doing his best. He's doing his best. No, I feel like maybe we should have had a different Electro character because Lisa's circle really isn't that big. Is that gonna reach him? No, it didn't. All right, throw that down. Uh, you know what? We don't we don't need we don't need that. And then we'll just. There we go. Ooh, 30k. And thus we come to another conclusion of another Cooking Masters. If you guys want to see more funny shenanigans like this, subscribe and like this video and share this shit with your friends if you want to help a boy out. Also, go follow my Twitch where I'm going to try and do some live streams. Unfortunately, I'm fucking busy and or sick, so I can't really do that. As well as join my Discord. Link will be in the channel description. And until next time. Chronicle-ish.